another season of hosting with the most. Find the perfect pieces for your space with up to 60% off select patio sets. So sit back and relax at the red, white, and two savings happening now at the Home Depot. How do we get more done? Macy's 4th of July sale has great deals on everything you need to get you, your crew, and your space ready. Get 50 to 60% off swimwear for all, and 30 to 60% off bedding and bath essentials. Plus, take 40 to 50% off almost all sandals now. As we sail into this 4th of July holiday weekend. There may be a big crowd here tonight. That means a big 50-50. Last year, we gave away over $2,000 to some lucky race fans. I should. <laughs> Our 50-50 ticket sellers were making their way to the grandstands here tonight. When they come by, you may want to spend a buck or a couple bucks. Obviously, the more you spend, the more it enhances your chances to win. And you could be a big cash prize winner here in the summer. Number 99, that's going to be John Shepard. John Shepard, one of the four silver division heavy hitters here in recent years, starting from the outside of that first row in that black and orange car number 99. Down to the inside of him, Stephen Berkey in car number eight. The Berkey going to go from the inside of the first row, inside of Shepard. Back behind them on the outside of row number two, car number 98. That's going to be Shawnee Hazel. And down to his inside, car number 5D, the Jelly's Deli Machine. That is Brandon Ely. Ely going to start from the inside of row number two. Back in row number three. Up on the outside, car number 17. That's Jim Burton. In that white car number seven. Down the inside of him is a zero car. That is Jason Beck. And shotgun on the field. He's starting seventh in car number 515. That is Tim Melts. So a little exhibition, a little bit of a taste for you folks of what we do here each and every Saturday night at the Valley of Speed. Ten laps scheduled distance, seven cars here. Normally a field about double this size or more for our four cylinder division. But Happy to come out and put on a little bit of an exhibition show for you folks here tonight. After that, we've got the street stock exhibition on deck, and then we're going to get into the real carnage as we get ready to kick off the 2023 edition of the Eve of Destruction, presented by Sayers Auto Wrecking and County Rates. trying to 
get things square away. Side by side battle right now for spot number four. Berkey on the outside. Gert on the inside. Berkey gets a little bit sideways. And that's going to allow Gert to take the four spot away.
99 car was so far ahead. On our eve of destruction kickoff here this evening, the pre-race or pre-show show, so to speak. <laughs> There's a little bit of uh, activity on the high banks here of Lubbock and Valley Speedway to give you a little taste of the dirt track and action we do on a Saturday night. And we should explain, these were the four cylinders you just saw, the four cylinder entry level division, all right? So we feature actually seven different divisions of competition every Saturday night here at the Speedway. Includes the four cylinders you just saw, includes the street stocks. You're gonna see some of those coming up here in just a few moments. We also have the Sportsman Division, the Limited Sportsman Division, the Pro Stocks, then the Small Block Modifieds, and the Premier Division, the top level, is our Dirt Car Big Block Modified Division, the Super High Powered Big Block Modifieds. So seven divisions of action here, week in, week out, on the dirt every Saturday night here at the Speedway. If you want to go racing, maybe this is the class outside of row number one, Driving car number 177, that is going to be Chris Stalker. Chris Stalker going to go from the outside 11 and 4 here in this 10 scheduled street stock exhibition. Got to the inside of him, car number 10, that's going to be Cat Foster. Cat Foster in the Camaro, car number 10 on the inside of row number 1. Back in row number 2 on the outside, and car number 77, that's uh, 177 without the 1, Ryan Brown going to go from the outside of row number 2. So Ryan Brown, a teammate to Chris Stalker in that nearly identical looking Monte Carlo from the outside of row number one. To his inside, that is going to be car number 16 money, Tyler Romer. Tyler Romer in the uh, Crown Victoria, going to go from the inside of row number two. And a shotgun on the field, car number one, the runway blue machine, that is Robin Paul. All right, which one? Robin, uh, we call him Ribby. He's been a staple of the eve of destruction here as long as I can remember. And I've been coming here for uh, ever since I was a kid. So uh, Ribby Poe, he is uh, one of the fastest cars year in and year out here at this eve of destruction. He's, uh, you're going to see him later on in the trailer race. That bread and butter, that beautiful old Chrysler rolling down the back straightaway. The trailer race, he's participating in the relay race as well tonight. Brought his son Garrett up here to race with us last year. Garrett's at the State Police Academy now, so we're going to be uh, flying solo here tonight. But that uh, beautiful red, white, and blue number one car ready to do battle here in this street stock exhibition. But Chris Stalker and Cat Foster are going to go from the first row, and they're going to be looking to go green next time by on a turn number four. Colin Rescott on the flag stand. Colin is our... Normally, he's our assistant starter to his father, Rocky. Howdy, Rocky Rescott, typically on the flag stand. Yeah, number one is going to just wreck so everything. <laughs> taking over the reins right now. Marty Schultz will mention that uh, Kat Foster there, Katarina Foster, she's one of our top street stock competitors, and she's looking to uh, move up the pro stock ranks here in the coming weeks and, well, maybe next season. I'm sure it's going to happen this year. But uh, she's going to keep an eye on there with a the number 10 car starting from the inside of the road run. That's Katarina Foster. Go, oh, Cat, go. Face truck takes the left hand turn into the safe haven. The Lumberton Valley Speedway infield. The car's getting ready to mash the gas. Turn the field. The green flag is out. We're on the left field. This is a last for a straight shot exhibition here at the Eden Construction. Now to turn the lawn.
Car had like no oh, power. Really? Oh, ask yeah, like nothing. If there's anything he can do to make it back out for the relay race and the trailer. Oh, man, yeah, there's I no way he's gonna get that running. Uh, you can already see like how uh, smashed up that front end is uh, in a way. I think that he is uh, put down on the back straightaway. So Bo gonna get to work, get the hood up, and see what they can't get squared away. Uh, that's a tough break for uh, a gentleman who puts on a great show each and every year here at the Eve of Destruction. Bringing out the yellow flag here, and that's going to bunch up the field for the Well, at least the race could be very interesting now, because it's all bunched up again now. Across the way in the pit area, you see... I know. <laughs> I had no shot with my pick. Captain Kilbonso, the Sausage King of Chicago, oh, number 88, Holden Dwyer. The Dirt Car Big Block Modified competes here each and every Saturday night. This is our headline division. And right behind him, the Jeff Daly at Sons Oil, beneath electric car number 250 of Allen Hotailing, the Dirt Car Small Block Modified. So both of these guys getting ready to put on uh, a little bit of an exhibition of their own. These are our premier divisions on Saturday nights here at the Valley of Speed. The big and small block modifies will achieve the speeds well in excess of 100 miles an hour on a very regular basis here at... Now they restart. Yeah, we're good to go. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Big oil spill. That's so nice.
in this 10 lap street stock exhibition.
stupid. <laughs> what they should have had, what they should have done is had the smaller block modify go ahead and see if you could catch them at some point. That would be actually really cool, but no. I won. I know. And, I know. <laughs> Well, that was an anti-climax. Over the little exhibition here for the modified style car. Oh well. Old Dwyer rolling the Audi Auto Sales Captain Tomasa in the junior car. Down here in front, there's Alan Hoyt doing all the pulling up. Gonna come back and make another approach. Get the Dakota off by two wheels. Let him hear you, ladies and gentlemen. Get him bumped up in that truck to make another pass at the ramp. He's gonna get going all the way around this speedway. Come back around and tag. 
Bag, his partner. And this is the key right here. Get down here quickly with shoot up so you don't make too hard a contact here. As it's time for round number two, he takes his partner of the 74 D. Him all right. And that team is on their way.
Alright, that's not too, too bad, I guess, so far. Between Fenwick number 86, the Chief, and behind him, the Ford. Team SUV out here right now, John Shimmerhorn in car number 12. Getting ready to count them down once again from five. Braver and braver every time out here. 
Elijah Goslin in the eighth round. Ready to take them on. Ladies and gentlemen, getting ready to count them down from 10 in the final round. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. It's going to be Don number 20, Elijah Goslin, trying to take down the end of the end. Still showing the way here. The eighth and final round of the relay race is going to be close here. Down the back straightaway. GM products going at it. Buick on the inside. Chevrolet on the outside. They make contact up the racetrack. Miller and Deganda. Nose to tail. Elijah. Excuse me. Goslin and Deganda. Elijah Goslin coming down. Late breaking. Who's it going to be? They're going to be virtually tied when they make contact today. He's got too much zip. He's got the little car's got so much zip on it. Wow. Thank you. 
the Monster Bus Mega Shows August 4th and 5th. Yeah, that was another selection of Preston Mega Trucks. We've been taking on the Monsters. truck's gone. Goosey drags and Chris, uh, what seems to be the problem here? I'm not sure. She's not spinning, so there ain't nothing good about it. Well, let's hear it for Chris Pritchard, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to be 
a lot more than your applause to get this truck back on the road, it seems like. But uh, the Super Duty rolls now, but Anthony Stracuzzi flies out here for everybody. Well, we need everybody back away from the fence before we can begin. Logan Hatch. Kyle Burrow back there, the 
177 car as well. Outside of Bull Mike the end in the 315. Looks like the Buick of Powell King. Excuse me, Powell Miller, I should say. John Shemmerhorn, the 32 of believe that is going to be Nicholas Hart in the 32. Got the 10 car as well, Elijah Goslin. Rounding out the field. So we're going to be ready here to get going with the hood and trunk race in just a minute. Down here in front, going to wait for the base truck to pull off the Lebanon Valley Speedway. Mark and LTD, Marchese Ford. Pace truck and patrols the high banks. Make some noise for these drivers on the front straightaway in the hood of Trump race, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he goes the other way, I forgot. Come by, the torches are lit. Behind the wheel of the beautiful Cadillac. Chris surveys the jumps he's going to do later. Passing by, got the horn going. And he is going to want to hear you, folks, when he comes back by. Going to go down to the other end and then come back and make sure you let him know that you appreciate him. He's going to take one last look at it and get the thumbs up from the crew down here in front. Cage. The next two will, and they're going to be more violent. Let's see how they land. Um, 
but now we're on to some big explosions. So I gotta tell you, it's been fun to watch already, but we're not even halfway there. Yeah, we're just getting started tonight, ladies and gentlemen. How do you like the show so far, race fans? And a lot, a lot of preparation goes into that. As Ryan mentioned, the doctor's girlfriend behind the passenger seat. Doctor coordinates this one, and now he'll step away and watch. We get ready for. Race. All right, I'm still taking the 315. The 24 is Jackson Bauer. Right the end of the 315. Black Case back there in the 771, Tyler Rover, Team Money back out here as well in the number six. The 86, the deep Fenwick car at the front of the field. As we look at everything going to be reversed here when we get going backwards. In just a moment, three laps to schedule distance. Looks like about 16, 18 cars on the grid. He's not going to pull over with a face truck, and we're going to be ready to count them down from five. Ladies and gentlemen, five. Number six. Down the back straightaway. Shemmerhorn pouring it on as they head backwards for the east end. Romer nice and easy as the leader. Trying to carefully work his way through the corner. We're still crashing on the back straightaway. Romer leads lap number one. There's two more left to go. And they're going to have major traffic to contend with when they exit turn number three this time. Number 
six. Tyler Rover is going to win the reverse race. Spin it out right after the finish line. What a race, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. He's been really good all all the whole events. Wow. That was really well done. Probably by tomorrow night. There we go. T-Money, Tyler Wilmer with the second one of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, they're still going in there, everybody. What? They didn't even prepare anybody for that.
wait patiently for Chris to get down here. The fire department team takes the helmet. Chris going to come out onto the loader force with Ryan Hogan camp. And a familiar face at Lebanon Valley Speedway is behind the wheel of the loader. Tommy Carell is driving the loader down here. He's going to let them down. And when he does, we're going to get a word with Chris Moreno. We're going to tell the team, I thought this might happen. Did you ever think you were going to hit it so far when you knocked the car off and then you landed right on top and you made a new stack? So, yeah, the funny thing is, the first stunt was going to lead way to the second stunt, which is now going to be hitting the bus. So now we have to get rid of that car on top so I can jump over the white car and the short bus to get to the long bus. I did about 50, 53. I didn't want to go much faster. Um, I didn't want to knock down the big bus, tell you the truth, but now I have to do 60 for that stunt. A lot of variables. These guys are awesome. They put a lot of the uh, used cars already kind of as a landing pad, and I figured I would hit the stack and fall over to the side. I've done this stunt a couple times all over the country. And again, these stunts, I mean, I'm right in there well. I've been here for days. I have my Hans device. I have my pads. I've been doing this for 25 years. Work for thrill shows. I've been here probably 12 years. You guys are awesome. It's great to have to keep coming back, part of the team, and we just kind of reinvent the wheel. There's times I did a hearse jump into a uh, bus on end. I did a world record limo jump. Some people might remember that. But uh, no, I mean, and again, we're not done yet, but we're going to be building it up. You have more explosions, another car jump, so we'll just keep going. I'll talk to you in a bit. Chris, you said I was, uh, you've been doing this stunt a couple times now all over the country. Is that the first time you've ever kind of done the Lego thing and made a new stack? Absolutely. I mean, there is a variable that would have happened, but, and it was a hard hit. I mean, it's an airborne T-bone. So uh, we've done a T-bone here on the ground where the car hits the side of the car and that flips over, which I wanted to do up here and I have flipped over fully, but it, I stopped and I saw myself not on the ground. So I saw great, and I was worried to unbuckle, thinking the car might flip over, and now I'm just loose in the car. But it was just funny how it landed, very solid. So I hope you guys got some good videos. Tag the Speedway, Chris Morena, Post Stunts Entertainment, put us all, blow it up. This Speedway keeps reinventing the wheel. These guys do awesome, it's amazing. And again, Tuesday night, we were ready to go. That rain was just silly. It's a clay track. I couldn't two-wheel out here being slick. To get my speed down this runway, we were safe enough for the stunt guys. Everybody could reconvene on Thursday. Sorry who had tickets for Tuesday night and couldn't make Thursday, but great crowd. The weather was on our side. It's Mother Nature, it's outdoor entertainment. You bear with us. So let's just keep going. We're not over. Great crowd, like you said, ladies and gentlemen, let him hear you once again, Chris Moreno. <laughs> Lots more to come, but we're going to give out right now the last call. An old Ford ready to go. And he is slated to be joined by two more competitors. We'll see who actually makes it out as the motor team continues to move some cars around, jostle some things around here in the infield. But uh, Scrapper John looking for a 2023 rollover crown here on the high banks of Lebanon Valley Speedway. A little rollover contest action means it's time to rock and roll here at the Speedway. 2017 rollover contest champion Scrapper John waiting for his foe to come out here and join him. The ramp set up just over there, gonna hit it with two of the tires and go and roll this car over. And continue to roll as long as the car runs. So Scrapper strapped it down.
I think. No, no, he might be hung up now there. No, nah, yeah, I think he killed the car. He might be hung up down there now. It looked real good for a minute. It's literally uh, ready to go out here for these people. What do you think? You're going to give him a full roll? you got to beat 20 points. I'm going to try my best. He's going to try his best. Austin Sewell is volunteering to do it for the fans down here. In front end. As soon as he's ready, we'll count him down. Austin, are you ready? He's giving the thumbs up. He's going to put
Roberts here. And he is going to try to get to about 60 miles an hour when they come down off turn number four. Behind the wheel of that Buick with Sabre with the Leopard spots up. Here is Moreno up top. Rolling around. Is he going to try to do it this time? Yes, he is. He throttles up with a hard left-hand turn down on the pit road. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise right now because here it comes. 60 miles an hour for the bus. Talk over the music. Yeah, talk over the music. SpongeBob bus? Okay. Tough to read the numbers on some of these from down here. The Kids Club bus being driven by Owen Lewis. Lewis 
Chasers coming up from the outside, loving it full on that Red Speed Chasers Kids Club bus. No, but the fuzzy bus got like way ahead, I think, the last year. He was like a la nearly a lap ahead of everybody, I think. Yeah. Sausage King of Chicago, Cedar Ridge Construction bus, the Spider-Man bus, back there on the tail, as well yeah, as the Dobson bus. Oh, okay, race on. So ten buses looking to go eight laps. Colin Rescott got the green flag in hand as they come out of turn number four. School's out for summer. The green lights are on to the best race. It's underway here at the Eve of Destruction. Oh boy. There's a lot of pep in it. School bus is so far ahead, though.
short amount of time as Faulkner tries to pick his spot here and navigate around Brad Brown. But Brown doesn't want to let him go. Faulkner now to the inside to Brad blocks him again. Yeah. Brown cannot block him forever. Faulkner gets by. And the 2024 cross getting together through lap traffic. They're stuck together for a minute down the back straight away. But it does not matter what ladies and gentlemen, DJ Block is gonna win the school bus right to the eve of destruction. Yeah, your winner. There you go. Eight laps of school bus mayhem. And it's DJ Faulkner with the win. Welcome okay. down to get a word with your winner before the trailer race. He, he ran away with that race. He had a foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. DJ Faulkner making his way out of the bus. Let him hit. DJ, geez, they make you go to the back here because you've won so many of these things now. How do you make the bus race so easy? Are you just the only guy that's going to lay it on the wood? Did you figure out how to disable the governor in this thing? What's the story here? It's just an old turd, as you can see. <laughs> Nothing special to it, just good old fun. Well, I'll tell you what, it looks like a lot of fun. And I asked you earlier the same thing I ask you all the time when we're going to see you back out here at a Big Block Modified. You pointed to Chris Stalker and said I had to talk to him, but it seems like you're having so much fun with the boss, and uh, I'm guessing that takes up a whole lot less of your time. You get to spend more with these guys. I guess we'll have to have a little bit more uh, talk with Chris tonight after we just put him on the spot, huh? Well, there we go. Maybe we can get Chris to uh, pony up a car for you. Ladies and gentlemen, another school bus race win for Mr. DJ Fox. So congratulations to DJ, we got our 50-50 raffle drawing to take care of here next, and the trailer race to come, and our big demolition derby to put an exclamation point on this 2023 edition of the E. Ah, uh, man. All right, I'll take the I'll take the green the green SUV over there. Get those 50-50 raffle tickets out. We've got a youngster down here that's going to pull a winner. First prize is going to be the cash, $2,414. $2,414. $2,414 cash, the first prize tonight, and you can claim it at the base of the tower if you win it. The winning ticket coming out of the barrel, and a winning ticket for the cash, $2,414, and the number is 054. Four nine six zero five four four nine six for the cash twenty four hundred fourteen dollars. Second prize a forty dollar gift certificate to the Funplex Fun Park in East Greenbush. That winning ticket number is zero eight one nine zero nine zero eight one nine zero nine. Third prize a T-shirt from Ken Jewett's Transmission, and that winning ticket number is zero seven six five eight one zero seven six five eight one. A winning ticket for the t-shirt and one more time for the cash $2,414-054-496 All right, you win any I, of those prizes, all right I'm going to take by the way the green car the your prize. There you had to set up this guy did this Which one, by the way? So our final racing event of the evening lined up on the front straightaway. This is the trailer take the green, race. The green SUV is mine. Before our nightcap demolition okay. derby.
just want to say thank you for spending your Thursday night at the beginning of your Independence Day weekend here with us at the Valley of Speed. The 2023 edition of the Eve of Destruction, presented by Sanders on Picking and Cumin Plains. Lineup looks something like this, I believe. That is the 86 of Matt Middlebrook in the inside of the first row. Mr. Fenwick tonight and you in the past as well at this event. Which one? And she wants to add a trailer race win to this trophy shot. Oh, okay. Okay. Which, which one is perfect? I believe that's going to be Chris Stonberg 177. Wait, which one, which one did she pick? The boat. Oh, the boat, okay. Row number two. On the outside, the 16 is going to be Anthony King. King in that purple number 16 on the outside of row number two. The oh, wow, they're going to race him right now. That okay. is Jackson Bauer. And back behind them, the 6D, that should be Mike Duncan. Mike Duncan on the outside of row number three. On the inside of him, the number 69, that's Wynn Brigham. Wynn Brigham in the number 69, the money. Starts inside row number three and back behind him in row number four. Check, check. The Dodge Ram, that should be Charlie Moore. Actually, check that. That is Austin Sitterly in the Dodge Ram. To the inside of him, Nicholas Hart. Nicholas Hardy, car number 32, the Buick, and Ron Case in the 771 get around out the field. Callum Risk on top of the flag, stick up the green flag in hand. Here we go, trail racing at the eve of destruction in 2020. Third power down the front straightaway, Matt Fenwick. Remember, you have to have a trailer at the end of the race or else you're disqualified. So you can't pass the guy. You might be able to just knock the trailer off. That way you try to run away from Stalker. It looks like he might have been trying to do just that on the opening lap down at turn number one. Down at turn number three now. Fenwick a little bit of a hop in that trailer. As they work down the front straightaway, but what is he lap number one? Chris Stalker just Mike Duncan up to the third spot. Anthony King fourth. Jackson Bowers 24th is fifth. Nicholas Hart sixth right now. Ron Case up to seventh. Win Brigham is eighth. Austin Sitterly ninth right now in the Dodge Ram and having trouble going nowhere. Fenwick goes around the outside of him and he will be live number two. Stalker in the ground back trying to up to Fenwick. Duncan still in third. Everybody on the race track still got a trail over Green and Green. This race wide open this year with no ribbon Paul after his problems earlier in the night. From a multi time winner of this event, normally a dominator, but this time it's Fenwick out in front. Big, big, big debris up in turn number four. Everybody still got the trip. Oh, one more one slowly down here in front. That's Wynn Brigham in the number 69. Contact and trouble. Fenwick narrowly escapes lap traffic at the exit of turn number two. Nicholas Hart battling with Jackson Bauer. Fenwick battling that trailer hop behind the number 86 car. Man, he's so far ahead. While still trying to reel him in. Second place, Chris Stalker working around the outside of live traffic here on the front straightaway. Fenwick battling with Jackson Bauer. Fenwick battling with Jackson Bauer. Fenwick battling with Jackson Bauer. So Stalker clears the lap traffic while Fenwick encounters three cars right under a blanket here. Running right through the debris of Fenwick's trailer. Hops and takes a bad bounce. Fenwick has got to take care of the trailer on that car. Now it's upside down. Fenwick is dragging the trailer that has turned itself upside down on the back of that automobile. And you have to wonder if that's going to allow Chris Stalker with three laps left to run to reel it in. The rule 
wheels are still spinning. You have to wonder how this is going to affect the balance of that trailer. Van Wood trying to work under Ron Case, the lap car, coming out of the west end. He will do that and set his sights on the God Boy service number 16. Headed for turn number one. Stalker just now exiting turn four with two laps left to go. And Fenwick's lead may be insurmountable if they can keep the trail on it. They so far ahead. Look at that. Big trouble for the 16 of Anthony King. Makes contact with the outside wall at the exit of turn number two. Fenwick's trailer wildly bouncing behind the automobile. As a white flag lap. One to go for Fenwick. This lead is long with the trailer. In a precarious position now. Can Fenwick keep the trailer on?
He's not going to last long. Paco goes searching. Trying to find him, he does. He finds absolutely. And the crowd, Victoria delivers a crushing blow. Uh oh. Surely trying to get it in gear. I don't know if he can do it. No. No. He can't walk. No. Again, a big hit from Paco Reed. Surely's done. Surely's done. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. it.
all of a sudden when this thing got going and you came out of nowhere and started really dealing them out. Yeah, that's uh, Chuck is back three hours and had a lot of practice all year. So, man, you been good. Well, you certainly did that. Uh, even destruction, demolition, derby, winning, you're going to remember that for the rest of your life. Yes, sir. Well, about 6,000 people plus were here to watch you. That's going to be cool. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Paco Reed. Following week, 
is our last racing event on the schedule for 2023. Douglas Industrial Kathy Clowns Memorial. That's how the season will go. We're about halfway through already here in 2023. Another great second half of the season coming up. Hopefully you can be back with us here for a lot of fun and excitement. It's their track here in the high banks of the Lemon Valley Speedway. And hang on to tonight's ticket. Save your ticket for general admission to the front gate on Saturday night, July 8th. As we thank you for supporting us here at the Valley of Speed. So with that big crowd on hand here, we see the parking lots are kind of jammed up. Route 20 is all bottled up right now. Just have some patience out there. Please be kind to your fellow fans. Take turns heading on out onto the highway. Have a safe ride home. We want to see you back here either tomorrow night for the Light of Fire or Saturday night for the Fireworks or one of our upcoming shows, certainly for the free show on July 8th with your ticket from tonight. So for all of us here at the Speedway, for our staff and management, we do thank you for attending. My name is John Stanley, and for my partner here doing all the hard work tonight, Marty Kelly III, we send you off with the best wishes for a great summer ahead. Good night, everyone.